Good day, folks. This is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, what we call the Greg Judy Original Bailing Roller. I've got a young guy that makes these for me now. This is the original design that I designed in 1999. And uh, I've just made it better. We've got it thicker. It's more heavy duty. It's all got super brand new heavy duty angle iron on it. Uh, we've tried to tear this thing up going over stumps, rocks, down through the woods, some of our civil patch areas. Uh, so far, we haven't been able to tear it up. Uh, we've got the right spindles on here now. We started out with the spikes. They were a little bit smaller diameter than what we used to. Those are super hardened spikes, an inch and a half diameter. Uh, the axles on here are 3,500 pounds. Um, it's just a heck of a stout outfit. What I wanted to show you was the ease, how balanced this thing is. Okay, see that? It's almost like a teeter-totter. Um, anytime you move this thing around, make sure that you have the boat winch with the strap all the way on the back so your um, spikes and your weight back there actually can use it as a pendulum, okay? I think a 10-year-old kid can move this. I mean, it just there's no weight on this tongue at all. Okay, so as you get older, you appreciate stuff like that. It's not as hard to get around. This is a geared boat winch, and uh, the way this works, of course, you back up to your bale, you pull your spikes out, um, jam it in your bale. I've got that other side wired, but this one's loose, kind of. Pull that out, slap it into the center of your bale. Put your hook on there, that keeps this from backing out. You might be saying, well, what's this all about down here? Well, this little deal right here is called my foot. As the bale's being unrolled across your pasture or through your woods, stumps, rocks, frozen cow manure, whatever, if you've got this spike and it's rolling out and it gets all the way down, the bale is gone, and, it, and you hit something out here. Because this is laying on the ground, that foot's not on there. You're going to bend that spike. With this foot on here, you can't do it. It won't go any lower than that foot, so it protects your spike from being bent. And you know on the farm, we can tear some stuff up. It just happens. So we want to keep from doing that if all possible. So back to the geared boat reel. Boat winch, I'm sorry. Got these stops down here, right here. That's what this is going to come down to. And uh, you want to reel with one hand. I'll get over here. Okay. Okay, now that's, that's the angle that it's going to come down like that. Okay, so it's setting on there now. So if I want to unroll that bale, Okay, I can travel with it. Now, this is hooked up to the four wheel, which we're going to hook it up here in a minute. Matter of fact, let's do that. Um, we're going to hook it up to our mule. So now it can't go anywhere that's in the uh, locked position. So I'm going to go like that. Now I've got it where I'm going to let it go out. Okay, so I've pulled about six foot of that out. I'm going to reverse the direction on that. Pick this up, bring it back, and now I've taken all the weight off my tongue. Look at that. There is just no weight on there. I'm going to go ahead and reel it up just a little bit. Okay. Now let's walk it up here. I'm going to put it on here. Now, this thing, you know, I'm not a very big fellow. We're, we're on ground that's got some gravel here. And that goes on my two inch bolt. There I am, I'm done. Now I do suggest, I don't have a clippy, but I just use wire. Put something through that. Because if you don't, you're going down the highway or something, you hit a bump. I'm a super conservative person. I don't want this coming loose from your truck. So put a pin in that, in that hole right there. It keeps it on your ball. So now we're ready to uh, put the bale on. I don't have a bale right here, but you back up to your bale. Take both of these out, back over the bale. But when it's centered, 
You slam this into the center of your belt. Boom. Put your hook on. You come over here. And you start reeling it up. the bale can go anywhere so when I get ready to unroll the bale I can just take that off and I'm not going to do it because I don't want this thing to go away on the ground but remember there's a bale on there and it's actually the weight is being centered out here and so you take that winch off this is no joke you can go about like that it's gone that weight because half the bale is sticking out over the back of this bale unrolled. When you go like that, it takes the bale and lays it on the ground. But before I lay the bale on the ground, I take a pocket knife and I go on the back side of that bale and I cut my netting off. Once it's laying on the ground, you don't want to do that. While it's up in the air, take your pocket knife, cut the netting, fold the netting towards you, and you flop this dude on the ground. All you got to do is pull forward about six feet and you can get your netting off. Now you're ready to feed your animals. What I like about this bale and roller is it doesn't matter which way you hook onto the bale. If you hook onto the bale backwards, back it off. Or you can go forward, just keep going some speed. This thing's heavy enough, that bale will come off. Okay, let's say you've got 10, 10 head of cows and you don't want to feed the whole bale. That's fine. Just unroll half of it. Put your winch back on. Raise it back up off the ground and take it back to the barn or your barn lot. Just give them half a bale or a quarter bale, whatever it is. But this works real good on the, on the mule. I've got a long enough tongue on here. This is not interfering with my winch. Okay. There it is. I mean, it's just a super, super stout outfit. Um, there's other movers that you can back up with a spike in a move, but you sure as that can this is when you can. You're putting fertility across your pasture, folks. Bell rings will kill you. You put all your fertility in a 30-foot circle. This guy here, you put. Uh, this is one of our, uh, you might say, our fertilizer tools for our new farms that we lease. We go out and buy the hay. We can get hay this year, $35 a bale, net wrapped, all you want, 1,200-pound bales. Put those bales across your landscape in the wintertime. Unroll it. Let your cows go out there and eat on that. They're going to waste some of it. That's good. You're feeding the soil microbes, okay? If you put it in a bale ring, you've concentrated all those nutrients in a 30-foot circle, and they're going to destroy that area of your farm. So unroll it. Go eat some more grass. That's the way you go. All right, guys and girls, this is it. Signing off. Thank you all.